In this video, we're going to look at how to use voice access. And at the end of this video, we're going to talk about using voice access, which is a Windows 11 feature with voice command, which is a Tablet Pro Studio feature. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. In order to open up voice access, we're going to go to the start menu, voice access. Go ahead and click on it and it'll open up. It'll prompt you to uh, activate the microphone or say yes to uh, one or two different things. This is fairly simple. Now, in order to use it, just select a text field and you can start talking. Select all. Delete. Now in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm really going to recommend going through the tutorial that they have. The built-in is actually quite good and it gives you a, a number of other functions that I'm not going to get into here. Period. New paragraph. Select now. Capitalize that. End of paragraph, undo, go to the end of the paragraph, enter. Now, if I'm trying to do something and I don't want it to take my uh, speech and convert it to text, you can switch into something called command mode. So we missed that because our cursor wasn't blinking in here, which is fine. It's not that hard to input things with our text. Select text, voice. Select that. Uppercase that. Mute. Okay, so we've used our voice to do a handful of different things here uh, to go into command mode only where we're not taking our voice and converting it into text. Unmute. You need to have a little bit of silence before you give a command for it to work. Unmute. Select Notepad. Undo. Redo. Enter. Command mode. So while we're in this state, if we're talking, it's not going to input anything, which is fine. So the tutorial, click on the question mark here. You can see start interactive guide. This will take you through a number of different things, how to click certain things on the screen. So you would say something like show grid, show grid, five, Eight, click three. So we've clicked somewhere on the screen and you can do that. This is part of this, uh, selecting the text box using numbers, start speaking to type. Yes, we get it. View commands. So this is the command list. Uh, they, they did a really nice job having this laid out and an easy to understand, you can download a copy of this. It's not a web page, which I like. Uh, your options here, selecting a microphone, managing, turn on automatic punctuation, filter profanity, uh, start up with Windows. Default mode. So here, what I like is you can do this, you can use this 
and you can use a touch keyboard, you can use other input modes as well, and uh, it works well. I usually don't like automatic punctuation because it adds a whole lot of periods because I pause while I talk. Backspace. 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 We're turning off automatic punctuation. Okay, so uh, if you're using your voice in voice access to talk, uh, there's a couple places where I recommend using it if you really want to have a powerful combination. And uh, I recommend using it in Microsoft Word. I think this is the best location. Uh, Microsoft OneNote also works quite well. So I like this because you can just select text. Mute. And this gives you a lot more power. Uh, without going into all the details, this is basically how you use voice access. You can use it to switch programs. Unmute. Switch to Microsoft Edge. Switch to Word. Mute. It's really fast, really useful for a lot of different things. So use this in conjunction with the radio menu uses in conjunction with the tablet pro artist pad and uh, with the action pen and you've got a really powerful combo three input methods that really uh, make this process fly if you're using your tablet using your tablet like a tablet and not like a desktop computer with uh, all of the extra peripherals that we don't have here okay so i promised at the end of this video we would look at how to use this injunction with voice command. So if you have uh, voice access open, so we open up voice command, the keyboard shortcut is win shift H, and we're going to import current preset. Okay, now we have all these different ones here. Uh, let's say we want to open up the emoji keyboard. Uh, we can do this really quickly here. We'll say emoji keyboard. Emoji keyboard. Ta da! All right, let's look at some of the other things that we can do. You can program this to send keyboard shortcuts or do whatever it is that you would like. Let's say we want to do a screen grab. All right. Screen grab. Paste, undo, screen grab, screen grab, paste. So you can see how this would work. We can mark up on our screen grab. It's very fast, very easy. So we're going to make one of the buttons the voice command. Microphone. Voice command. Screen grab. Enter. Enter. Paste. Mute. 
mute. All right, guys, that's it for this video on voice access. I hope this was useful to you. If you have questions, please put it in the comment section or contact in the Discord channel, and I'll make sure to respond to those as quickly as possible. All right, thank you guys for watching. Stay creative, and I'll see you in the next video.